Come on, man. This is history. I got the president. I'm loving her. Distinct guests, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to be here with you today at the graduation ceremony from one of the finest universities in the United States. Thank you, thank you. Morgan, thank you. Morgan State University is a dynamic and historically black institution which we can all be proud of. It is my pleasure to be with you and our graduates, families, friends, supporters, on this occasion of celebration. The university has achieved great heights in engineering, the sciences, business, and education. You are first among all of the historically black colleges and universities in the production of Fulbright scholars. And this university chose to embrace Nelson Mandela and myself as members of your community, inviting us today to be together with you graduates. Let me say on Madiba's behalf and my Madiba, own behalf, Madiba. we are touched, we are honored, and we are proud. We will always cherish this gesture of embracement. I thought she's about to speak some knowledge. As some of you may know, I have been a social and political activist over many decades and have advocated for women's and children's rights. Amen. I'm convinced that joining the Morgan State University family will enrich me personally and enlighten my work and the depth of networks I am associated with. It has been proved that education sows the seeds of transformation deepens our understanding of one another and the world. It helps us to build the bridges across cultures and nations. You have been blessed with an exceptional education. I, use you, I urge you to use it wisely and apply the learnings you gained here to your personal life, at your workplace, in your communities, and in your countries to make a difference. Madiba once said, I quote, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world, unquote. Our world to get today I'm burning, man. Our human family Slowly is more and more confronted with growing conflicts fueled by political, religious, ethnic intolerance, inequality, and competition over resources, gender discrimination, race discrimination, are realities of our world everywhere. Perhaps these are the biggest challenges of your generation. I'm here, graduates, to remind you that you stand on the shoulders of Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela. I actually can call you you are the grandchild, the grandchildren of King and Mandela, two giants of the 20th century, who happen to be of African heritage, like many of you. 
who overcame hey, the barriers of, of race, of gender, of class, who redefined personal and local citizenship into global citizenship, who embodied values of human dignity, equality, and justice. These two very special individuals <laughs> represent values anyone dreams, of us young fellas, wants type stuff. to embody. Like huh? They are symbols of the best okay, well, qualities of human sister. race. King and Mandela were not different from many of you in terms of the social environment they grew up in. But yeah. they dared to dream, to have a vision God. of a world they wanted to live in, that is when I in which hear. they would leave a legacy to generations to come. Exactly. They had the courage to look and fight beyond the oppressive conditions of their day. And at the end, they presented us with the gift of civil rights and political freedom. That is the legacy you are receiving today as a torch to carry for the challenges of your time and of your generation. Today, we are engulfed in the struggles for economic rights, for social transformation, and social justice. It is my hope that you, and I'll repeat, grandchildren of King and Mandela, you young people will rise, will raise to this challenge with the creativity, empathy, resolve, and generosity. Do you your knowledge to break the cycle of poverty and exclusion, to create a movement where as humans we value, respect, and accept the difference in diversity as our common strength. I will urge you to reinvent the dream which King has declared to us, I have a dream. Do reimagine and reshape the world you earn to live in. No one in your world should continue to be oppressed and discriminated against. No one should be denied a shelter no one should go hungry and live with no job and no hope. No one should be denied their human rights. Is the wrong place to say it, My appeal to you is Jessica, reinvent the dream. Reimagine and reshape your world step by step day by day make it a dream transformed into reality be your brother's keeper build a world of love solidarity and compassion congratulations to each and every one of your graduates of you graduates thank you i want to end I'm thankful quoting again Nelson Mandela he said it is I in your hands like years. any one of you <laughs> has the power has the capacity to transform not only your lives the, la the lives of your community the lives yeah, of I your nation, but the lives yeah. of the world. It is exactly. in your hands. Look inwards, reinvent the strength and the energy 
and creativity which will transform you into builders and builders yes. of bridges in which you don't fear the difference you don't fear the other on the contrary you extend your hand of solidarity you build together that strength in which all and each one of us we are able to live in harmony in the cohesive societies in which love and compassion is a reality of us once again congratulations be the transformers of the world you want and it is in your hands Stand up, guys. Stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's give the Honorable Gracia Michelle another round of applause. You can reimagine and reinvent and transform the world. We thank you very much, Mrs. Michelle.